You know, it's almost impossible to imagine the level of suffering that's being experienced by the Haitian people today. I mean, when you think about the 2021 earthquake, decade after the original earthquake that was caused so much devastation, when you think about the effects of climate change and what's that done to the harvests, when you think about the assassination of the president in the same year as the earthquake, the cholera outbreak, inflation, the complete breakdown of the political system and the political stalemate that's going on, the breakdown of state institutions. No country deserves that kind of suffering, and Haiti is getting it all. As a result of the political stalemate and the breakdown of all the state institutions, you're getting this extreme level of gang violence, which has taken over the country and is out of control. The local police force is not able to get on top of it. Some people in Haiti, particularly those people in the gang controlled areas, are calling for some foreign help by way of maybe some foreign troops coming and intervening and dealing with this gang violence. So obviously in the longer term, we're gonna to need to upgrade the professionalism, the local police force, but that's down the road. First, you have to deal with the current gang problem. Haiti is suffering from one of the highest levels of food insecurity in the entire world. Half the population um, is in need of food assistance. You know, 22% of the children are malnourished. And this, on top of the problem with the cholera outbreak, uh, has to be addressed immediately. Obviously, there's a foreign food aid program in place, but with the gang violence, it's very difficult to, to distribute that food. I think longer term, the food issue can be solved internally. I'm involved with another organization which is looking to address the food security issue by working with farmers within Haiti. And we proved during the earthquake of 2021 that we could access all the foods that were needed locally. And something has to be done about uh, the import of weapons, mostly coming from the U.S. And in the long run, to solve these problems, we have to provide youth with employment, and specifically in the areas which are controlled by gangs. But before addressing the longer-term problems, we have to address the gang violence issue, the security issue, and the political instability. Those have to come first. Nothing else will work unless those are addressed first.